Yes, uh, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to talk here. And I would like to keep some, the result of some experiment that I studied about three years ago. And after I moved back to Hokkaido, it's very uh, popular and uh, common in many farms. We find some, especially in dairy cow, uh, some papilloma. And this papilloma is uh, related with the infection of the papilloma virus, that uh, mainly due to some uh, uh, skin lesion that they can may introduce into the body. This uh, papilloma may appear uh, everywhere in the, in the body, but especially when it's located in the teeth, it's a problem, special for milking for this infection, and it also has been associated with mastitis. And it's not a rare case that animals should be discarded or cooled by this problem. And especially in Hokkaido, there is some uh, grow area when the many heifers, especially young staff, are, uh, young, are together. So the possibility of infection or dissemination of this, uh, this problem is very high. So uh, that's why uh, we have uh, looked some especially during summertime, uh, we have uh, the teeth of the cattle become red like, like this. And after some observation, we found that the main uh, insect that, cow, that causes this kind of biting is a Simolium japonicum matsumura. This is a, just a typical one and is uh, very common, and especially on summertime, uh, is very uh, spread. Either we can have or control some environmental aspect. We need to take care of the animal because if we have infected animal in the herd, it's very easy that through this uh, insect they can uh, distribute to or pass or infect to other animals. In a first study, we use uh, some uh, insecticide like a pyrethroid, and we were able to reduce uh, the number of bites of insect, but is we could we not eliminate at all. So we, especially the available insecticide in Japan is very expensive. So we need to uh, test and look for other way to control. So uh, we look for other drugs, and we uh, did some, um, basically two experiments, two studies. One we do with screening with some drug that may act to kill the insect, like insecticide, and other try to repel or to avoid the biting of, or avoid the insect to reach to the teeth of animal. By doing this, we expect to decrease the papilloma virus infection, and therefore reduce the papilloma in cattle. The, this study has been performed in, uh, in the farm of Obihiro University by using uh, 60 uh, heifers. Uh, the age was three to 20 months of age. And uh, the method is very simple. We just look daily uh, observation of the teeth and we try to count how many place or how many red dot or hemorrhagic point we found in the teeth, and this is directly uh, associated with the bite of this insect. In the, the treatment group, I will show you the details in my next slide. Um, we just use a very simple, we wear uh, gloves, and we just, by doing hand, we uh, apply the product to the to the teeth. And how is the, we use a pyrethroid. This is a, a insecticide that is kill normally the insect. We use um, mint oil. This for the smell, avoid to come to the, to the teeth of animal. And other, uh, also we have the pyrethrin as a powder or emulsion. This has a little longer uh, effect. And um, what I found available here in my study in Japan is this one, and this is the mint oil. 
and the, this is the pyrethrin powder and the pyrethrin emulsion. This I dilute with the oil, with sal normal commercial oil, and I, I did my experiment uh, it's like this. I divide my animals in uh, six different groups, 10 of each group, and I make the application uh, three times a week. And I just want to look at the, which of this drug or which of this treatment may reduce and may be economically more important to try to control this problem. Uh, this is a largest uh, image what I showed you before, and this is very common that animal in the place we have a lot of hematophagus, insect, we can find this one. So by checking every day, I just count this, the red one, sometimes this is uh, the small one or black one, it represents to previous day. So by, by counting this one, I just count the actually or recently. So I believe that this kind of observation may be more reliable. This is uh, what I found. It's uh, not easy to look, but just uh, to show you, this is I have a control group, so no treatment. This is the, uh, the green one, and another I have the pyrethroid. This either is insecticide. The effect is very short, so the, the insect can come and bite uh, just the next day without problem. And the other, the mean oil, this is a 10 and 50 uh, time diluted, also have some uh, effect in reducing the number. But as you can see, all number has been increased compared with the previous, with this number that I found, or I count at the start of my experiment. This is a uh, red show the time of treatment and the Daily is the time of observation. So we can, uh, from this data, we can say that we can reduce somehow the number of bite of the insect, but still is there a considerable number of uh, lesions that can be produced in the teeth. So I go to the next study and trying to uh, do a treatment, a daily and daily treatment and see what happened with the reaction of this insect. So uh, just by increasing the frequency of application, so I look what is the, the number, how change the number of blood sucking. By a daily treatment, as you can see, almost all treatment uh, have a considerable reduction compared with the time of the start of my study. But again, the pyrethroid and the other compound here, the mean oil, has no so much uh, suppressive effect. And interestingly, when the mean oil, we have a very high concentration, you have here, a uh, higher dilution, so have less effect. And when you do uh, concentrate, uh, uh, I mean, a small dilution of a mean oil, the smell, the cow is normally lick the other teeth. So it's maybe removed more quickly than, than other. This is something that I found during the time I performed this experiment. So again, we can see here that the pyrethrin, especially the powder is very, uh, the powder and the other component has very good effect in reducing the number of biting by the insect. I make a, just a quick uh, cost analysis, whether is this treatment may be possible to use. And just this is based for 60 animal, the daily cost uh, according to the price uh, available here in Japan, in Hokkaido. Uh, so the, the cheapest one and the effective one was uh, this pyrethrin powder uh, diluted uh, 10 times in oil. Uh, by doing, this is the, uh, according to the result of the study that I performed for the last three years, uh, at the start of my experiment, I, from 60 heifers, almost uh, more than half of them has been with the papilloma in the tea. 
And after we start with this uh, treatment, uh, really because of the summer time is quite short, but we were able just to perform two months in July and August, we did this. And by doing this, we were able to reduce the incidence of papilloma in our heart, especially in Hafer, for to uh, 35% and, uh, and the last year to 25% uh, of the head. But we still have, but we were able to reduce considerable the infection or the incidence of papilloma in our hairs. It's important, I didn't mention before, but the, for this virus, according to the literature, we have an incubation period of two to six months. Of, so it's not common because when I start my observation, it surprised me that many of these papilloma appear during winter time. And during winter time, we don't have at all such insect in our farm. And uh, just this is what I mentioned you before. So by uh, doing this, the daily application of this pyretrine powder uh, is, was effective in reducing the number of insect bites and also the uh, papilloma in the teeth. So by, by doing this, uh, I mean, we still need to continue the treatment not only in the animal, but also in the environment. Because this uh, insect, they like so much the, the water, and either we have a small pond or river close, they are able to reproduce. And especially the biggest problem for this are the animal who are under pasture condition, not in the, in the, var in the barn. Animal keep close, they have very few chance to have this problem. So I finished my presentation and I want to take the time to discuss. This is a research going on and we are also collecting now the uh, papilloma and try to see what type of what virus and also some insect and see if really we can find some virus in such insect. Thank you.